Let's get started with Social Explorer, a database that contains United States demographic information from the U.S. Census and other data points. If this is the first time you've used Social Explorer, and especially if you are accessing the database from off campus, you will need to create a personal account with the database. You can do this from the Create Account button at the top of your screen. If you already have an account, now is a good time to log in. Let's start viewing data. Click on the Explore button to enter the map. One of the easiest ways to find information about a place is by searching for that place on the map. The search bar will access searches of addresses, cities, and zip codes. Once you are in the map, you will notice that you can hover over part of it for data to appear. You can move from census tract to census tract and display the different data. You can also zoom in and out using these plus and minus signs on the right hand side of your screen. To change the data you're viewing, use the Change Data button. Here you will see data available in a number of categories. Select a category of interest and then select the data variable you'd like to see on the map. I'd like to see data about transportation. From the available variables, I would like to see how many people get to work using public transportation. The map changes because I changed the selected data variable. Now when I hover over any census tract, I will see how many people living in that census tract take public transportation to work. Another feature of Social Explorer is the ability to compare two data points on a map. In order to change our map view, we click on the Map View button in the right hand side of the screen. It looks like a book with one dark page and one light page. The side by side view will allow me to show two data variables at once. To do so, I simply change the data on one side of the screen. I would like to see data about poverty next to transportation data, so I'll select the Poverty category. From there, I'll select a variable. Now, when I hover over any census tract, I will see not only the data for this side of the map, the poverty side, but I will also see information or data from the transportation side of the map. If you would like to save your work in Social Explorer, be sure you're logged into your account. You will see a Save As button at the top of the screen. In addition, you can export the image of the map, or you can share your map. I hope this video helps you get excited to start using Social Explorer.